After relaxing in Uruguay, I flew down south to Ushuaia. In this episode, I show you around, we do some hikes to see our first glaciers and lagoons on the strip, make a boat trip on the Beagle Channel, and visit the Tierra de Fuego National Park where I paddle down the river. Hola gringo, bienvenido a Tierra del Fuego. <laughs> Trust Rouser time is over as I'm here at the end of the world. Ushuaia is not the southernmost point of South America because it's still quite a distance to the Cape Horn, but Ushuaia is the southernmost city of the world. So let's check out the rough climate and the city. In the past, Ushuaia has been a missionary and a military base. Nowadays, it has nice restaurants and is commonly used as a base for outdoor activities and for cruises to Antarctica. A must-do right in the backyard of Ushuaia is the hike up the glacier Marcial. In summer, it is not as big as I thought, but I was able to enjoy beautiful views to the bay and the Beagle Channel. A hidden gem not far away from Ushuaia is Laguna de los Tempanos, which isn't touristy at all as it is a bit harder to access. Accompanied by Bianca, a Brazilian traveler, I did this one day trek and we discovered the impressive lagoon created by a glacier and used the chance to also check out a little glacier cave. Because we started early, we could also visit Laguna Encantada, which is nearby. After all these hiking days, it's time to hop on a boat. A Beagle Channel cruise was a good opportunity to see some of the animals that live here, like cormorants and sea lions, and to explore the little islands in the bay. Again with some stunning views. Good morning guys from the Tierra del Fuego National Park. Today I will do canoeing with these guys from Canalfan, but before that we are gonna do a trek and enjoy the view here. The name Tierra del Fuego means land of fire and derives from the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan. He was sailing for the Spanish crown and was the first European to visit these lands in 1520. He believed he was seeing the many fires, fuego in Spanish, of the Yagan, the indigenous people who used to live there, which were visible from the sea, or better, the smoke he saw, because originally it was called the land of smoke. Later on, it was changed to land of fire. Paddling down there was pretty relaxed and smooth. Perfect conditions for beginners. So, we didn't get wet, but, well, our guide did. We finished at the end of the Ruta Nacional 3. Now it's official. The end of the world as you see here. In the next episode, we will visit penguins on Magdalena Island. Follow along, hasta pronto! Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch the previous episode from Punta del Este.